What a treat it is to catch up with uh, Cardinals first base coach Stubby Clapp. And Stubby, just a little background on you for those that aren't familiar uh, with you. You were drafted by the Cardinals out of Texas Tech in 1996. You spent, I think it was 37 years in the minor league system uh, <laughs> as a player <laughs> with the Cardinals uh, and, and then climbed up the coaching ranks. Uh, my first question is uh, the name Stubby. So it's a it's a family name, and there are a lot of other Stubbies. So tell us about that. Yeah, fourth generation uh, nickname. Um, Strive obviously started with my grandfather and uh, passed down to my dad, and that's that's all my dad was ever called. And then uh, when I was born, that's what I was called, and uh, that's all I've ever gone by. Um, obviously, I do have a real first name that's on paper, um, <clears throat> but never gone by it. And then um, actually. My oldest son is uh, he's Stubby the fourth, and uh, I actually put it on his birth certificate in case he ended up going by it like I did. But uh, he actually doesn't even go by it. So, uh, but he's the first uh, he's the first official uh, Stubby. I wanted to ask you about uh, Mike Schilt. I know you guys are, are tight. What's it like working with Mike Schilt? Because from what I see, that is the most even keel, thoughtful guy that there may be in all of baseball, just your view of him. He's very detailed. He's very detailed. He's very aware of what's going on around him. And uh, he pays special attention to people and, and what people can bring um, to the table. And he does a good job at, at asking that from you. Um, so working with him is, uh, it's a lot of fun. It, um, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a good environment where you're being pushed uh, to, be, to be your best. As for your playing career, I think you played 23 games with the big club, with the Cardinals, but there was like parts of four seasons with Memphis. I mean, you're a hero to this day in Memphis, sort of a, a legend. But as you progressed, were you thinking at some point if you didn't make it as a player, you would be a, a coach? Was that something that you were attracted to even back then? Actually, the exact opposite. Um, it was, you know, um, I didn't even want to coach. You know, I, when I when I was done my playing days, I wanted to be done and, and be a family man. And, and but, um, you know, I had a couple off season jobs that I tried that I didn't like. And uh, I ended up just putting out a uh, kind of put out like a little waiver wire that I was interested in getting back into coaching. After about two years into it, I realized how much I really enjoyed uh, being with the players and trying to help them. For folks that don't know, you're Canadian. You actually uh, you played uh, for Canada in the Olympics, Pan Am Games, and the, you know. Um, so I just wonder, do you have a special bond with Tyler O'Neill because he's Canadian? Are you guys sitting around drinking Molson together? Well, we talk a lot. We, we we have we have some fun with it. I got to coach Tyler in the Pan Am Games, so that's where our relationship started before we even had him. He was still with Seattle then, so I got to meet him then, and uh, uh, we definitely share that Canadian bond and. Uh, enjoy that i mean it it's a treat to catch up with you stubby i know you guys have a lot to do today as you try to continue this uh this role but thanks for making time my friend uh thank you jim appreciate it